Okay, so it's always back. This is just a continuation of theorems. Né? Let us see theorem number four. A state, so simple, so simple. A state, an arc, an arc subtends equal angles at circumference see now it's no need to know the proof but i'm going to do it anyway let's see if i have a diagram like this see, i have a diagram like this see let's say with the center somewhere here see we have a b c D. So we prove. Then we must prove somehow that B and C are equal, or A together with D are equal. You see, we have called so we have arc A till D. They subtends. B and C and those angles should be equal. And also we have arc B C which subtends A together with D. You see? Then we must oh let me just write the requirement. We have A B C D. Those are your points on your circumference. And we also have what? Oh the center center o then now we must prove required to prove we must prove that angle b is equals to angle c or somehow angle a is equals to angle d for now let me just take this one you see let me just take this one then how are we going to prove this theorem? Firstly, let us do some construction. For us, we are going to join this one together with this one. We join A, O, and D, O. See? So simple. Then immediately after joining this one, look carefully. Do you see this theorem? We have O, A, D together with B. You still remember this theorem? Theorem number two, the angle at center. You see? Which is angle at center is twice the angle at circumference. Then we are going to say, let me say A, O, D. A O D is equals to angle B raising angle at center plus to two times angle at circumference. See, we also have the same one again that the angle at center is twice angle C somewhere there. You see, same. A O D is equals to angle C. Say the angle at center squared two times the angle at circumference. B and C, they are both is equals to A O D. They are both equal to A O D. Then we can then equate both of them because they are both equals to A O D. You see. Let us equate B together with angle C. Why? Because both they are equals to A O D. Same. We have proven that these two angles are equal. It is also true for this one as well. Then let us do some application. See? Oh, 
then the reason for this one don't forget we use this one this reason angles in c segment angles in the same segment then let me give you a diagram a simple diagram if let's say i have maybe diagram like this see we have a b c d then i give you 20 a then here i give you it then i ask you to find angle c as well as angle b c check do you see arc cd it subtends a and b that means angle a going to be equals to angle b your reason angle in same segment and now my angle b is going to be 20 you do the same now arc do you see this arc a b subtends c also subtends d then angle d will be equals to angle c same reason angles in the same segment and our angle c is going to be 30 degrees see so simple so simple then i thank you and enjoy it eh?